some friends. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. <laughs> you might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, call this off. If the captain sees the us... To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on, anyway? I'm ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> How do you like these odds? Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? 
If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. Then I'd best get to work. He's got a rations again. Play You're not in the second floor, are you? Summer. Well, now we need to be done. You there! I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. The shitty fella won't hardly take his hat off. Keeps his face in too, so we can't. See. Quiet! Here he comes. Make like you're working. A uh, doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the passengers. You sound just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me...
He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. Keeps his face in too. So we can't see him watch it. Quiet! Here he comes. Make like you're working. Take his hat off. Keeps his face in too. So we can't see. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. 